Hey y'all, I'm Long Hair Pretty Nails and today I'm filming in KISS Studios. We're gonna be trying out the new KISS Gel Press Starter Kit. Let's get to it. All right, let's see what comes in the kit. All right, so we get a nail file. I like that this is a bigger nail file. We get an LED UV lamp, gel adhesive, primer, and 28 coffin and 28 square tips, manicure stick, and instructions. All right, so now we have to prep the nails. You wanna make sure to remove any nail polish with a acetone-based nail polish remover. Make sure your nails are all clean. And then we're gonna push back our cuticles using the manicure stick. And you wanna be gentle, you know, just gently push back your cuticles. Next, taking the hand file, we're gonna take the lighter side and gently buff the surface of the nail. This is important to ensure that the gel adheres to your natural nail without any lifting. And then finally, you wanna take some alcohol and just wipe the surface of the nail, getting off all the dust and oils. And now we can pick out our tips. So these are the sculpted extra long full cover nail tips and they come in coffin and square. So let me show you guys the different shapes. Ooh, I like that coffin, that is cute. I do wanna point out that the full cover tip is thicker on the tip and the cuticle area is thinner and flexible. So that is good. All right, so let me pick out my sizes. Start with this one. Oh, that one's too big. You definitely don't want any of the nail to hang over. So let's see this one. All right, that is a much better fit, but I do need to file this corner a little bit. So taking the black side of the file, we're just gonna go ahead and file this corner. Just a little bit at first. You don't want to do too much because you definitely could overfile it. So, okay, so that is much better. All right, so now I got all of my sizes picked out and now we can apply the primer. So for the primer, you want to put one coat on your nails and just be careful to not touch your skin. And then you want to put some primer inside of the full cover nail tip. just where your natural nail is going to meet the tip. And you wanna make sure to let the primer dry for one to two minutes. All right, so now that the primer is all set, we can go ahead and apply the gel adhesive to our full cover tip. So let's go ahead and open this up. I like to apply it by the cuticle area. And to help me out, I like to cut the lamp on before. <laughs> All right, so now we're just gonna start at the cuticle area and squeeze down with gentle, constant pressure. And this is a bubble-free gel, so it's thick and it's not going to create any bubbles, but if you happen to get any bubbles, just take it off and start over. But what I like about this gel is that it is thicker, so it holds the nail in place. So now we're just gonna flash cure for five seconds. And at this point, the gel isn't fully cured, so you can go ahead and take your manicure stick and clean around the cuticle areas if you have to. I don't really have to. <laughs> and now we're just gonna fully cure for 60 seconds. And we're gonna do this to all 10 nails. All right, so now we have all 10 nails on, and y'all, do y'all see this shape? I love this coffin shape. All right, so now we can get to painting. I love that these nails come clear, so you have the flexibility to paint them, decorate them however which way you want, and they feel really strong, like these are gonna last. These look like I went to the nail salon and got these done, but for the fraction of the cost. <laughs> so, you know, no air bubbles, they were easy to apply, just super, super easy. So these nails are extra long. You can cut them down if you want to, but y'all know I love long nails. All right, so I got my nails all painted and y'all know I have to add some bling. So I'm gonna be using the Kiss Nail Art Rhinestones. So I like to put mine in a dish, but you can definitely just take them out the pack like this, whichever you prefer. 
And I'm gonna apply a few dots of glue around my cuticle area, like so. And I'm also just gonna put a dollop of glue inside to help me pick up the crystals easier. Taking the manicure stick, we're just gonna dip that into the glue and pick up the rhinestones. And we're just gonna apply that like so. So here is the finished look. I love how these nails turned out. They do have a strong hold, so I'm gonna show you how to properly take them off without doing damage. You never wanna pull or tug on them. So today, I'm gonna be using the Kiss Quick Soak Off Caps. All right, so first you wanna trim down the nails as much as possible. So we're just gonna clip that off. <laughs> and then we're gonna take the nail file and you want to just file the nails to break the top coat surface. And then we're gonna take the foam and some acetone and thoroughly saturate the foam. And we're gonna place the foam inside of the cap and place our finger inside. And I'm gonna put the caps on the rest of the nails at the same time and we're gonna let them soak for 15 minutes and I'll be right back. So after soaking for 15 minutes, look at my natural nails, no damage, and I'm gonna make sure yours don't have any damage either. So we're gonna go ahead and peel off the cap. And you could either use the manicure stick, but I'm gonna use a cuticle pusher and we're just gonna push off the softened tip and just be gentle. It should be soft enough to come off. No hard scraping. And then we're gonna take our buffer and buff the surface of the nail, getting off any of the residue. All right, so after that, we're gonna wipe the nail with acetone just to get off the dust. And then add some cuticle oil to nourish the skin and the nail. Rub that in and that's it. So you guys definitely wanna check out the gel press starter kit. This is definitely gonna be a game changer.